If you have seen any of my videos prior to 2020, that is prior to the pandemic, you must have seen me saying that unless you do a PhD, growing in biotech, biotech is going to be tough. Be but what really happened after the pandemic that now I say you don't need a PhD, you need something else? Well, you must have guessed it right already because you have read the thumbnail of the video or the title of the video and that's artificial intelligence and machine learning but we will get to that a little later let me talk about biotech first so prior to pandemic in fact even before that everybody thought biotech is all about wet lab where you go to a lab wear a lab coat and you're you know working and playing with chemicals or live organisms right but then pandemic happens, then mRNA vaccine comes up, then people realize the power of bioinformatics and then comes chat GPT. Then comes the era of AI. Before that, people thought that bioinformatics is growing slowly because there is no much computing power available. But suddenly NVIDIA comes. Suddenly we realize that we have so much computing power. Suddenly we realize that now we can decipher data, complicated data, complex data in an easy manner because we have computing power, right? And suddenly we realize that we have something which can read the pattern and predict the pattern, right? So that's where AI ML comes into picture. There are multiple use cases of AI and that is why it is the hottest trend in the bio sector, not just biotech, biology sector, life science sector for last 500 years, I can say. Now, why is that? Because, you know, biology was always thought about medical science, right? Whatever diseases we have and we have to treat. But then agriculture got included, then a lot of other fields got included. But hey, here we are. There is something which is not from bio, but can accelerate the bio. It's the in, it's becoming the engine of biotechnology, right? And now how it is evolutionizing, let me give you two to three quick use cases. The first one you must have already heard about drug discovery. AI is reducing years of R&D investment, years of R&D um, uh, expertise and uh, time spent into months. We are compressing into months, right? There are already AI-powered clinical trials happening. There are already AI-powered drug discovery happening and that drug is already in the third stage of clinical trial. So that's one use case. The next one is genomics, personalized medicine. Utilizing the machine learning algorithms to predict genetic disorders. Now you must have seen ATGC, ATGC, that's the DNA, right? That's the DNA. Now, what if we could find the pattern of a normal person and we could match it or compare it, the entire sequence of the normal person with a genetically mutated person and find out where exactly is the problem, fix that base pair using CRISPR and well, we have a healthy gene genome now. That's where genomics AI comes into picture. You will be able to predict genetic disorders and you will be able to fix it. Right? That's the power we have got now. Now, moving forward, vaccine development. Right? We saw the power of AI and machine learning or, or bioinformatics for that matter in the COVID-19 era. So, in COVID-19 era, we came up with the mRNA platform. Right? Now, what if we add AI into the mRNA platform? We see AI accelerated clinical trials. We see protein analysis and all of that happening in real time. So vaccine development is one use case. Moving forward now, we have precision medicine, right? AI can help us tailor make the medicine according to the patient's requirement. Now, you know, most of the medicines today are one size fits all. What if we could personalize the medicine? Because many diseases, we don't have a treatment because we cannot personalize it. For example, cancer, for example, HIV, for example, rare diseases, Alzheimer's. So what if our doctors could give the right treatment if they have the right data about the patient, right? That is where AI comes into picture and that is where bioinformatics comes into picture. Now the question is, will AI replace biotechnologists? The answer is no. But definitely, mediocre and average biotechnologists will get replaced. Just yesterday, I was talking to NHS officials, which is uh, UK's premium, uh, premier uh, medical agency, National Health Services. And they said they are implementing AI into their data. And they are sitting on probably 50, 60 years of data, patient data. And they're implementing AI to understand the pattern and treat the diseases, right? So AI will not replace 
smart biotechnologists, but those who will not learn AI. So it's time we learn AI. It's already started in the IT sector. AI has started replacing the coders. And in biotech sector, if you don't learn AI, tomorrow you will get rejected because the most popular question in the biotech interview now is, do you know ChatGPT? Do you know R? Do you know Python? Do you know uh, R Studio? All that is happening already. People are getting rejected because they don't have bioinformatics skills. Now the question is, what kind of jobs are available today and how it will grow? So bioinformatics analyst jobs are there. Machine learning engineer jobs you can get. So earlier you had a uh, protein engineer, right? So now it will be AI protein engineer, right? AI research assistant in pharma and clinical data scientist you would be working as biotech product manager who will be using AI tools. Global companies like Genentech, Moderna, Novartis, Illumina, Indian companies like TCS, Strand Life Sciences, Cure.ai, Biocon Biologics, all of them are hiring AI experts. And if you are an AI expert with a biotech degree, you are in demand, my dear friend. So do not delay learn AI, learn bioinformatics first and then learn AI because you can't learn AI without learning bioinformatics. Now, just so you know, we are starting an AI and bioinformatics training come project session. So go ahead and enroll yourself. You can do hands-on project with our industrial partners. Then you can get work experience and you will be getting all the uh, amenities. You will be able to work alongside our scientists in Biotechnica CRO and you'll be able to publish papers. So what skills you need now, you, you have to know, you you will require the biology foundation you have to build the t-shaped foundation okay so the t the uh, bottom part of the t is biology right so you have to have in-depth molecular biology genetics and omics knowledge then you need the programming basics like python and r then statistics and data analysis now all of this is covered in our bioinformatics uh, project and training programs you will learn ai ml concept supervised learning clustering neural networks then you will be learning bioinformatics tools like blast ncb Alpha Fold, cloud platforms such as AWS, Google Collab, and Google Notebook, visualization skills you will learn, Plotly, Seaborn, even Excel will be taught. And all of this, when it comes together, you become a solid package. You become the Swiss Army knife of the biotech sector. Today, you can get started easier. See, if it was 10 years ago, getting started was difficult. Today, it is easy. You have to just pick a beginner-friendly AI plus biotech course and that is in Biotechnica as we speak. We are starting this bioinformatics and AI course and then followed by that, there will be projects. You will work on hands-on projects. You will learn. You will get a work experience letter from a Swedish pharmaceutical company and then you will be able to get placements as well. Now, you have to do the, this project with us. Step three will be join Biotechnica Connect community, get the placement. Step four will be you will start collaborating on open source biotech AI projects in various companies and step five we will help you build a portfolio real project combined with the degrees you are, which you already have in biotech you will become a formidable combination biotechnica has trained thousands of students and we have placed them in various companies like medgenome aerogen biocon Sinji, various other companies which i cannot name them because of the confidentiality agreement but the point is this is a trend which will die down probably five years from today so if you get into ai five years later there'll be too many engineers in ai in biotech and then you will be like i'm a mediocre engineer nobody's taking me so the time is now catch the trend and win it it is like you know if you had invested 200 rupees in infosys in 1990 today you would have got 20 crores right so that 200 rupees is 20 crores the same way if you invest in ai bioinformatics today to, by 2040 or 2045, you will be a senior scientist working on AI projects in biotech companies. So that's how AI is the hottest trend in the market. And that's how Biotechnica will prepare you for this particular era. So don't wait. Start building the skill set of tomorrow's biotech companies, which are hiring already today. If you're serious about your career, check out the link below in the description. Our AIML and biotech training programs, bioinformatics internship with project support with a Swedish pharmaceutical company has already started and we will help you win the world of bioinformatics and AI and then you'll be a senior scientist in this field. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below and I'll see you soon as a successful biotech, bio-IT scientist. All the best.